Hey, Just Like Me fans, I have another in our Meet the Author series, and we have a great book for you guys today to talk about. I'd like to welcome Dr. Artika Tyner, and she is going to tell us all about her book, Justice Makes a Difference. Dr. Tyner, how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Happy to be here with you today. Thank you so much. We're going to jump right into it. I saw this book. We, you sent it. I read it. I loved it. And, and so before we get into what it's about, um, I typically ask my authors, like, what was the journey, the inspiration behind Justice Makes a Difference? How did you come to write this book? I wrote this book so I could have some inspiration for young people. Because one of the key lessons that eight-year-old justice learns is that you're never too young to make a difference. So it's an invitation for all young people, no matter the age. And even the parents and the grandparents, as they read the book, I hope it's the spark to say you can be impactful in real time. Sometimes we think the problems in our community and the world are too big to solve. But if we all take our part, I teach my students, it's like a puzzle. If we all take our piece of the puzzle, we can make the whole, which is social change and social impact. So that actually goes right into my next question, which is what, because obviously the, the title character is Justice and she's making a difference. She's working towards something. So tell, tell our listeners, what, what is the book about? The book is about a young girl named Justice who's on this journey and this journey to figure out what can she really do? Her grandmother asks her two things. First of all, she gives her this request to fully understand what her name means. That to be named justice comes with great responsibility to make that word justice come alive, of fairness, of equality, to change things in real time. But she also gives her another challenge that oftentimes it's easy, whether you're a child or an adult, just to sit on the sidelines, observe the problems. But she asks justice, what is in your hands to make a difference in the world? And by examining her hands and looking more closely, justice figures out that there are a lot of things that she can do. In real time, she can make an impact in the community, and she makes the decision and determination to move from the sidelines to the front line of social change. I love that. I love like the, the, the message that I really liked out of that is the fact that she is eight years old. They talk about you know how little she is often, um, but she is still empowered to be able to have an impact on her community. Um, and a lot of the things that we do at Just Like Me presents with our curriculum and with our podcasts and with our books that that is you know central to our message that we can make a difference no matter how no matter how big we are, no matter how small we are. That you know everybody can work towards um, can work towards changing their communities. Um, are you working on anything else right now? Is there a second book in the works? Is there a, um, is there, you know, a new, is this going to be a series? Like, what are you, what do you have going on right now? Yes. Justice is designed to be a series. So the next book will be Justice Exploring STEM to have an introduction, to learn what a career pathway can look like. Those same creative skills, those same problem solving skills, she's going to use it to help set her on the pathway to learn more about science, technology, engineering, and math in real time. So that's the next step for justice. And I also think it's important to have that inspiration for children because STEM careers are growing at a rate faster than all careers combined by two to three times. So by having that early introduction, it's to say it is possible. I can create in real time. We have a lot of new writers who, who watch this series. Um, and, and I always ask any author that I bring on and talk to, um, you know, wow, like, look at where you are. You've got this book. Um, it's, it's out there. It's doing great things. You've got this plan for this series. And there are people watching who are going, I want to do that. Um, I want to, I want to be where she is. And, and my question always is before we, before we wrap up is, is what advice do you have for someone who is beginning and who has a story to tell and wants to share something with the community? What, what advice do you have for somebody who is new to this, um, to this genre? I'll take the advice that justice, her grandmother teaches her at one point in the book, justice has a bit of a dilemma. Her friends are told that women cannot become president and her grandmother's like, no, this is impossible because we know that there was a woman named Shirley Chisholm. Yes. First African-American woman to run on a major party ticket for the nation's highest office as president, as commander in chief. So her grandma gives her the empowerment to think about the possibilities. So just having the thought around writing and the impact that you want to make, you've already taken the most important step. Now, just like anything else, you have to per perfect your craft, studying Picture books. If I wanted to write a picture book, I had to understand them. I had to understand 
how they're written, how many words are on a page, what does it look like, what type of illustrator am I thinking about? So part of what I always teach my students, and I'm a law professor, so I'm working with students each and every day. It's the same process. We have to be a student anytime we want to learn something new. I give them a sense that it's my 90-10 rule. The book is only 10%. 90% is the preparation. Justice was years in the making. Everyone can see it. Oh, it's beautifully illustrated. Look at this. Look at that. But this is a labor of love of years in the making. So what I was able to do was do that 90% well and then do the 10%. Continue to learn. Like be the student and learn your craft. That is one of the most important uh, pieces of information that I I also tell people. Like you know, you it's not enough to want to write the book. It's you have to want to learn how to write the best book. And the way that that happens is if you become the student and learn your craft. Where can readers find a copy of your book? You can find everything about me, about my books, my podcast, uh, you know, all those things on my personal website. It's my name. It's Artika Tyner, so A-R-T-I-K-A-T-Y-N-E-R.com. And on there as well, you can find a link to our YouTube channel. And there are plenty of resources when I talk about perfecting your craft and having those tools in your toolbox. They're available to you free of charge. And some people say, why free? Because I want us all as a community of learners, a community of change agents and leaders to get further faster. You're supposed to go further than I have. After you listen to my voice today and I just told you everything that I've done, Take it and run with it. And then I only ask you one thing. Teach someone else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. Well, you will also find a copy of uh, Justice Makes a Difference on our Just Like Me pick page at www.justlikemepresents.com. If you go there and click the Just Like Me pick section, you will see uh, it'll take you to a link where you can uh, find a copy of uh, Justice, uh, Justice Makes a Difference for your personal at-home library. Dr. Tyner, thank you so much for talking with us today. You dropped so much information. Um, I think that this is going to be one of my episodes that gets replayed over and over again, uh, just because there is so much helpful information. So thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity. And thank you for inspiring the next generation, and not only authors, but also we then inspire the next generation of readers. Oh, yeah, definitely. Everybody, thank you so much for listening. And remember, if our children can see it, they can achieve it.